So I look a mess, but it's okay because I'm about to get myself together. I'm about to get in the shower and get ready so I can go to my cousin's gender reveal. Let me show y'all what I plan on wearing today. I have my little cropped white sweatshirt and then I'm team boy so I'm gonna wear this little blue cami underneath. But I need to find me some jeans and I'm probably gonna wear Mattens because they have some blue in them. I think I'm gonna wear like these mom jeans right here, but all of it is wrinkled. Yeah, that's what's going on today gender reveal this is the first time i've gone to a gender reveal so shout out to my cousin quenisha on her new bundle of joy that she's about to bring into this world i'm hoping that it's a boy because our family has a bunch of girls in it and we just need some more boys so but yeah i'm about to get in the shower and then get dressed so hopefully everything looks right so i'll see y'all when i get done getting dressed okay now that i'm done getting dressed um i'm about to do my hair i'm trying to child this camera okay this little period bump gotta go well, I'm about to just do my everyday makeup routine, which is literally brows, eyeliner, mascara, and lip gloss or Vaseline. But since I have so many bumps, I'm going to put some concealer on some of these bumps on my face. I don't be having nothing to talk about when I record myself doing my little makeup, but what I will say is I started my little YouTube channel a couple years ago, and even though I haven't been consistent on it because I still work a regular 9 to 5, I'm not like one of these big YouTubers. Um, I still be, um, shy in front of the camera. I don't like talk. It's weird because I enjoy making YouTube videos. I like the editing process and all of that. Um, because it just keeps me busy, keep my mind occupied on something. But I still be like camera shy, especially when I'm recording by myself, which you would think that it'd be the opposite. That if I was recording with somebody else, I would be a little bit more camera shy. But I think, depending on who it is, if I'm recording with other people, like the people that y'all have seen on my channel before, I, you know... Their energy helps me and my energy on camera. Like, I'm a little bit more of myself. Like, I'm myself now, but when I have my people with me, it just makes it a little bit more comfortable and at ease for me to record, if that makes sense. But my personality is just laid back, chill. I'm not really loud and all of that. 
So my energy may come off as really low and boring. Well, that's because I be at home by myself, chilling by myself. Like, I'm not about to be hopping around here doing backflips. So, yeah. That's what I want to say. That I'm still getting used to being in front of the camera. But I'll get there. I would definitely get there one day my views will go up subscribers will go up even though that's not my focus right now I'm just doing this because I like doing it it's just something to do in my spare time but most definitely I'm not gonna shortchange myself and act as if it's not possible for me to you know, get up there in this whole YouTube situation. With the weather changing, my skin getting a little bit lighter, I gotta find the perfect shade of foundation. That still ain't covering up as much as I would like it to, but it's a little bit better concealed in person then it may be showing up on camera. Now that I got my lashes on, I'm about to do my edges. Usually I use like edge effect or uh, the shine gem. That be or I mix those together. But today I'm gonna try my Eco Styling Gel and my Got to Be Glue. I don't use the Got to Be that often because it be turning my hair white. But I haven't found a really good edge control that will lay my edges all day because they're gonna curl right back up. Like if y'all can see that, they're gonna curl. If they don't do nothing else, they're going to curl right back up. I really don't know how to do edges. I just be, you know, you gotta fake it till you make it. So, Y'all, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna come back after I keep brushing the same spot and see if anything changes, all right? Okay. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So I got the little edge scarf on to kind of like lay, lay my edges, I guess I would call it. But you know what? At this point, at this point, I don't even care no more. But as I let that sit and settle, I got my package from Amazon. I ordered me a, um, a camera bag the other day so I don't have to carry around the box. Whoa, I did not know it was this big. But I got it in black. They had a light pink one too. But since my camera is black, I was like, why not get the black one? So this is a nice little camera bag. Bag smart SLR DSLR camera case. Cool thick cotton camera. Show bag with rain cover for me and Emily. And there's my phone. I, I just got the. That's cute. That's Katalia. Katrasha. Toya. This is not no headband. <laughs> This is not no headband. This is actually an edge scar. Okay, I need one of those there. Well, I got one. But yeah, I was look as I'm as I'm letting this 
settle. I just got this. The camera bag. I didn't know it was going to be this big. Okay. It's like a purse. I know. It. They had the light pink one. Ooh, it's real soft. They had a light pink one, but since my camera is black, I was like, why not just stick with black and not have a pink bag with a black, you know, all them black accessories. I like oh, the, it looks felt. Yeah, it feels good. I like the little gold um, chains and stuff. It says it has a rain cover for when it rain outside. Oh, it's real spacious. Uh-oh. Here's a little shoulder pad. I need that because my shoulder be hurting. Here's the rain cover. So, bag won't get messed up. And that's what it looks like on the inside. That looks nice. It's real spacious. It has, I think these are two dividers. Yeah, these are these are the two dividers where you can divide the, the thing. You know, the thingy thing. This so, is, it has a spot in there specifically for the camera? Well, you gotta you gotta use the dividers to divide it. So like I can divide both sides. Snatch your stuff real fast. <laughs> I mean, it's Velcro. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. You get the gist of what I'm trying to show. Like mm. that. Like that. Okay. Yeah. And then you could put the camera like in the middle. Put your charger and. Stuff like that, but I really like the like shoulder this. part because my shoulder be hurt. Now, how do I wear it? Like, just like how you got it on with the shoulder pad right there, go up on the shoulder, so adjust it to where that flat part your head is on. Is okay, your shoulder. this is the front, oh, ma no, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Uh -uh. You need, yeah, you need a uh, dare you go, ma'am, yeah, and that goes on your shoulder, and that is what relaxes. Like, okay, adjust, like, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, you're gonna need some assistance. Okay, wait. Like, how you. Maybe if I put this on first. Okay, like this. There you go, and then push the shoulder pad up though. Turn the other. Hmm. I had it turned the wrong way. This is it. This is cute. So that will conclude the video. Um, that was recorded on Sunday, November 28th, as y'all saw in the video. Today is Thursday, December the 2nd. And because I didn't do an outro, I just wanted to come on here and do my outro. So I hope you all enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I plan on recording more content using my new camera just still gotta get used to all the buttons and you know all of that good stuff but again i hope y'all enjoyed it if you did again don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next time i'll see y'all in my next video peace